Prediction Technology of Melons Part 1 At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Describe the origin and distribution of musk melon Explain the cultivation practices of musk melon It was in the early 17th century when Pope Innocent XIII was staying at Cantalupo in Sabina, an Italian town which was said to be the summer locality of Italy. The people of the town were becoming apprehensive of the rising temperature of that season. It was higher than the usual. Many of them searched for a good option to escape from the hot environment. It was at that time when one of the servants served a fruit juice to Pope. The juice was prepared from a fruit gifted by a messenger from Egypt. But the Pope refused to drink the juice and requested for his usual orange juice. However, he was tempted by its aroma and decided to taste it. From then, Pope Innocent XIII became obsessed with the fruit and it had turned to be one of its favourites. Pope wanted the people of the town to enjoy the sweetness of the fruit that he liked the most. So, he ordered the members of the palace to share the fruit with his town people. Since then, the fruit became famous in many parts of the world. The credit for popularizing the fruit goes to the Pope of Cantalupo and hence the fruit was named as Pope's Cantaloupe. This delicious fruit is now commonly known as musk melon and is deemed to be a favorite for all, from kids to the elderly. Musk melon is a summertime fruit which is rich in water content and belongs to the family Cucubitaceae and the genus Cucumis. It is identified as a fruit with green or yellow skin covering the juicy flesh. It is also regarded as the superhero of fruits due to its tempting flavor and aroma. In this lesson, we shall discuss the origin, distribution and cultivation practices of cantaloupe alias muskmelon. Origin and distribution of muskmelon it had been believed that musk melon was first grown in Egypt, a North African country, during 2400 BC. From Egypt, it spread to other countries such as Southern Russia, Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Northwest India and China. These countries were said to be the secondary centers of musk melon. During the second voyage in 1494, Columbus carried some muskmelon seeds from Egypt and planted them on Isabella Island. Later, at the end of 15th century, muskmelon became popular across the North America. During the 17th century, it was introduced in Central and Northern Europe. Over the years, muskmelon spread to almost all nations of the world. At present, India is one of the leading producers of musk melon with a cultivation area of about 1,60,000 hectares. Now, let us discuss the soil and climatic requirements of musk melon. Soil requirements For better yield, well-drained loamy soil is considered to be the suitable type for cultivation of musk melon. For early yields, lighter soil subjected to quick warming is preferable. If the soil is heavy, growth of wine is greater, but the fruits mature late. The soil should neither crack during summer nor get waterlogged during rainy season. It is mandatory that the soil temperature should not be less than 10 degrees Celsius. The ideal soil pH for muskmelon cultivation is 6.0 to 7.0. The moisture level in the soil should be 10 to 15 percentage above the permanent wilting point. Climatic Requirements Generally, muskmelon is a warm season crop suitable to be grown in the tropical and subtropical regions. It grows well when the days are long with abundant sunshine. The average atmospheric temperature suitable for normal growth is 30 to 35 degrees Celsius. However, it can withstand temperatures as high as 40 degrees Celsius and as low as 20 degrees Celsius. 
35 to 40 degrees Celsius is required during the fruit development. The optimum soil temperature required for quick germination, early maturity and fruit production ranges from 18 to 25 degrees Celsius. Excess humidity encourages pests like fruit fly and leads to the occurrence of diseases like downy mildew, powdery mildew and anthracnose. Now, let us discuss about the cultivation practices of muskmelon. Land preparation. The land should be ploughed thoroughly until it reaches the fine tilth stage. Once the desired stage is attained, the soil is levelled before sowing, propagation and sowing. Normally, the seeds are soaked in water for about 12 to 24 hours for better germination. The sowing can be done by following any of the four methods such as deep pit method, shallow pit method, mount method and ridge method. Deep pit method. This method is preferred for riverbed sowing. Circular pits with a depth of 1 to 1.5 meter and diameter of 60 to 70 centimeter are dug with the inter row and intra row spacing of 1.6 to 2.5 meters respectively. Shallow pit method. Here, shallow pits of 60 into 60 into 50 centimeter are dug with a spacing of 1.5 to 3 meters. Each pit is filled with a mixture of soil, 5 kilograms of farmyard manure, 40 grams of urea, 50 grams of phosphate and 100 grams of potash. Once the pits are filled, circular basin is made inside the pits and the seeds are sown at a rate of 6 seeds per basin. Later, the seeds are covered with small amount of farmyard manure or well-rotten compost. Mount method. In this method, the seeds are sown on mounds. Here, an inter-row spacing of 300 to 325 centimeter and the intra-row spacing of 90 to 100 cm is maintained for 1.5 kg of seeds per acre. The seeds are treated with 2% hydrochloric acid for better germination. Rich method. In this method, the seeds are sown on the sides of raised beds. Sowing time. The idle seasons for sowing seeds are November to March on plains and April to May on hills. Seed rate. The amount of seed rate is determined based on the size and shape of seeds. On an average, the recommended seed rate is 3 to 7 kilograms per hectare. Manures and fertilizers. It is necessary to supplement the soil with well decomposed farmyard manure at the rate of 15 to 20 tons per hectare. In addition to the farmyard manure, NPK fertilizer at the ratio of 80 is to 40 is to 40 kg per hectare is also applied. At first, a full dose of phosphorus and potassium and half dose of nitrogen are applied to soil while sowing. The remaining half dose of nitrogen is applied after 30 days of sowing. Irrigation Immediately after the sowing process, the field should be well irrigated. It is necessary to irrigate the land at 10 days interval for retaining sufficient moisture in the soil. However, riverbeds and rain-fed lands need not be irrigated. It is necessary to ensure good internal drainage to prevent water logging in field. Weed control. The weeds should be hoed 3 to 4 times during the early stage of crop growth. Pests control. Some of the common pests and diseases damaging the muskmelon crops include aphids, cutworms, root knot nematode, squash bug, mosaic, fusarium wilt, fruit rot, etc. The pests can be controlled by the application of chlorothalonil at a rate of 0.94 liters per acre. Harvesting. Usually, Harvesting is performed between 85 and 115 days after sowing. 
the fruits are harvested at the appropriate stage that is when the color of the fruit changes from green to yellow yield generally the yield varies based on the cultivation practices and the type of variety to be cultivated on an average the estimated yield ranges from 125 to 150 quintals per hectare varieties several varieties of musk melon are being cultivated across the world however some of the common varieties grown all over the world include ambrosia buppy hybrid iroquois and jenny lind some of the common indian varieties include arka rajhans pusa asarbeti hara medu punjab sonahari and hari berry summary well that has been an interesting lesson about production technology of musk melon let us do a recall of what we have studied so far musk melon is a summer time fruit which belongs to the family cucurbitaceae and the genus cucumis musk melon is believed to be grown in egypt during 2400 bc deep pit method shallow pit method mount method and rich method are used in the sowing process